Are you a dinosaur yet? Subscribe to become one now. Today we'll be doing our review right below our most favorite dinosaur shelf. I'm really excited. This is my first time doing it right here. So let's get started. Hello all dinosaurs and fellow boys and girls, I am Dan and today I'm showing you guys my entire collection of Peppo dinosaur figures. I'm really excited. I'm doing this right below my dinosaur shelf. What do you guys think of this concept? I think this is really fun and let's just get right into it. Okay guys, so we are going to take a look at my entire collection of Peppo figures. First one right here, definitely my most favorite Peppo figure, it's the Acrocanthosaurus. Beautiful, beautiful dinosaur, a carnivorous dinosaur. This is my most favorite dinosaur um, for many reasons. The sculpt work, the paint job, the details, this is absolutely spot on Peppo masterpiece. Okay, let's take a close look at this beautiful figure. I love this tail. And the brown stripes across its body. Just gonna place it right over here. Next up, we have a Pecky Rhinosaurus. And I love to play them side by side. Looks like they are squaring right off. Check this out. Urgh. Beautiful. These two Peppo figures, they are brilliant. Okay, let's move on to other dinosaur figures. Okay, let's grab a few from the shelf. Um, maybe this one right here. Okay, Taurus. And this is one of my latest collection. Um, Quetzalcoatlus. And grab a few more. The T-Rex, the baby T-Rex, and the adult T-Rex. So let's have a look at these figures right now. First, let's take a look at this um, baby T-Rex, or rather young T-Rex. Looks really cute. This would go well with this adult T-Rex. This is a classic, classic um, figure, which I really, really love it. Um, I might get another one to place it um, um, in my office, yes. Next up, we have the Carnotaurus, which is brilliant. Well, the Carnotaurus is known as the meat-eating bull. This guy has some problems standing at times, and this is like one of the latest figures. Quetzalcoatlus, what a beautiful and majestic figure. Check this out. It is pretty huge. Yeah, Quetzalcoatlus. I can't remember the nickname of this dinosaur. If you guys know, do let me know down below. Okay, next, I'm gonna just gonna grab this huge one right from the top of the shelf. We have the Brachiosaurus. Wow, what an amazing and majestic figure. I read this as my top five most favorite Peppo figures. Love it. Just gonna be placing it right behind because this guy is huge. So there you go, what a beautiful collection. Okay, gonna grab more from the shelf. Let's grab this Acrocanthosaurus. Um, this T-Rex as well. Looks like our shelf is going to be empty. That's really fast. Um, two herbivores. Do you guys pronounce herbivores or herbivores? And another herbivore. Um, yeah. Let's just start off with this few. Let's proceed. Okay, first let's take a look at this beautiful Apatosaurus. Brilliant. The level of details is not as fine as the Acrocanthosaurus. Check this out. Huge sauropod dinosaur. This neck is really thick. It is pretty incredible. I guess it can actually use its neck in a battle. I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm just um, assuming. 
Next up, we have the Compi. Compsonators. Beautiful figure. Just gonna place it right over here. Looks like we have a very beautiful diorama going on right here. And this is the running T-Rex. This is actually a repainted version. A great figure, but I definitely prefer the classic one right behind. Okay, running T-Rex, there's actually a green version. This is a repainted version. Mine can stand very well. It keeps falling over. Next up, the Acrocanthosaurus repainted. What a beautiful paint scheme. Do you guys like the original one? Or do you guys like the one with the tiger stripes? For me, oh my goodness, this is tough. I like both of them. I'm just gonna place it right over here. And next up, we have the Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus is known as the near crested lizard. And our review table is already full. I have to buy like a bigger table really soon. What do you guys think? And I'll probably build some lights, you know, beneath the shelf so that we have better lighting over here. Okay, let's move on. Okay, there's a few dinosaur figures which I can't show you guys on the review table, which is the Pteranodon, because this is actually tight to this right here okay let's have a look at this allosaurus later on just gonna place it right below um this shelf is basically empty as you guys see there are plenty of um papo figures we have a um, dimorphodon we have a cryolophosaurus and we have a dilophosaurus and we have a raptor okay based on the jurassic park and there are plenty over here as well okay so let's begin with this few first first we have the raptor which is really really awesome i have problems pronouncing the word raptor is it raptor or raptor i'm not too sure okay so basically we have this beautiful velociraptor right here and next we have the cryolophosaurus this is also a pretty new figure 2018 figure is the cryolophosaurus supposed to be much bigger i would definitely prefer this figure to be bigger in my opinion it is a brilliant figure and this is one of the original papo figures the allosaurus the skin texture looks so realistic it looks like a proper reptile but this figure has some problem standing so just gonna place it on the ground in case it falls over next up we have the dilophosaurus this is brilliant this is beautiful um the double crested lizard um place it right over here next up we have the dimorphodon another new figure yes this is brilliant um, I got this from an online store. Yep. All right. Next up, let's see. We still have many Papo figures to cover. We have this Pachycephalosaurus right here. Um, this Ceratosaurus. Um, this Ankylosaurus, which is brilliant. Um, what else do we have? Spinosaurus and another Spinosaurus. Let's review this first. Okay, next up we have an iguanodon right here, the iguana's tooth. Okay, beautiful figure. It's gonna place it right behind or um, next up this is like one of the most difficult dinosaur to, to actually pronounce it is actually not a dinosaur I call this the Tupushuera I'm not too sure whether my pronunciation is correct so do forgive me but beautiful figure 
Next up, we have the Ceratosaurus, the Horned Lizard. This is beautiful. I think this is like one of the best pebble figures ever to be produced. The level of details is just simply incredible. And the details are just finely, finely done. Beautiful. This is what I call a hallmark figure of pebble. Next up, we have um, this oviraptor. I've actually placed like a blue tag right below to keep it balanced because this guy right here has some problems standing straight. Okay, oviraptor. Can't remember the nickname. And here's the Pachycephalosaurus. Have I shown you guys this before? I mean, just now. Pachycephalosaurus is known as the thick-headed lizard, or rather, thick skull lizard. Next up, Baryonyx. Yes, Baryonyx is known as the heavy claw. This is a beautiful figure. But at the same time, it is pretty weird looking as compared to many Peppo figures, okay? The sculpt, it's, um, it's just weird and this looks like a dragon from a fairy tale movie. Okay, let's move on. Classic, classic Peppo figure right here. A bipedal Spinosaurus. I hope we can actually produce a quadrupedal Spinosaurus, which means it is walking on four legs instead of two. Next up, we have the Ankylosaurus, or rather Ankylosaurus, depending on how you like to pronounce it. I prefer to call it Ankylosaurus. So this is the fused lizard. This is beautiful. Okay. Um. Fairy Xenosaurus, yes, this is another new dinosaur figure from 2018, another beautifully sculpted um, figure. Just check out all these feathers, they look so, so, so realistic, beautiful. And this dinosaur actually has a pretty big belly, I think this is scientifically accurate because, yeah. And check out this little green splash of paint across the face. Looks brilliant. Plenty of details. It has a movable jaw. But no movable arms like the Therizinosaurus from Schleich, which is a relief. Our last figure of the day, it's the baby Spinosaurus. So how many figures, you know, how many Papo figures do I actually have? I'm gonna do a count right now. Okay guys, so I have roughly 29 to 30 Peppo dinosaur figures. Yep, it's definitely one of my largest collection as compared to many other brands. Alright, hope that you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Um, I really, really like doing this review right beneath my dinosaur shelf. I think it's pretty cool. Let me know down below whether you guys like this um, setup. Okay, hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do give it a thumbs up, share it, drop me a comment, and I'll try my best to reply to you as soon as possible. And if I'm new here, I am Dan. I upload dinosaur figures every single day. So make sure you subscribe if you like dinosaurs and Jurassic World. And don't forget to press the little bell icon right below to receive notifications whenever I upload a video. I am Dan, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. But before you go, as usual, check out our previous video right here if you have missed it and all the other related videos. Okay, goodbye. Let's make an outro for this video, shall we?